Anti-bullying day is coming up in our schools and they're selling shirts for $32.99. Wow, I'm so glad they're there for bullying now. And I'm so glad the kids know it's not cool to bully. That's the only reason bullying has stopped. They changed society's views on bullying. They made the mass of children, the majority of children, see it as not cool, so it has stopped. Do you see what this means as a collective experiment for the whole? Nobody stopped bullying because it was rude, immoral, and bad for you. It scarred people for life and ruined their lives for a large chunk of time unless they woke up to the divine God and healed themselves internally. No, they stopped bullying because it's not cool. And I mean the average whole of the entire school. Obviously, you're going to have your abused kid that still comes in and bullies other kids. But now he's a loser too. Get it? The losers are still the losers. The majority of the kids just don't partake in the bullying in the same way because it's not cool. Get it? This is how all of society can and does work. The sheeple, the hens, they group together and they do what is cool and what is not cool. And this is in and outside of school. People are not doing things, the majority, the mass of humanity that controls the collective consciousness because they are the majority. That's how collective consciousness works. So we need to find a way to make, this is how they did the woke movement. It was cool and not cool, except it was not correct at all. I don't even know how to think of a solution for this, but looking yourself face to face in the eye with the problem is part of the alchemical process of healing the collective consciousness as if it is one, because we are all one. So let's look at ways we can heal the one as a collective. And currently, the collective consciousness is running off of what is cool and not cool. Let's start diving a little deeper here. We're going to dig, dive, just soar in a lot deeper. Stop thinking what's cool and what's not cool and actually do what you were supposed to be doing from the beginning. What is good and not good? What does your heart see as good? What does your heart feel as not good? This is your beacon, not the masses that laugh and don't laugh. What's cool and not cool. What your friends are doing and not doing. And this exists in all ages. Just what is cool and not cool changes as you age. What is good and what is not good. Your heart knows. Stop looking at the guy beside you and ask your heart. I know you can do it. Goodbye for now. Spirit Mom.